x is cubed. Let's take a look. I think most people have no idea what it is when they first look at it. We're trying to create something that is unexpected, powerful, and mysterious. Consumer electronics were a physical thing, a transistor radio or a cassette player, a Walkman, and then the software element of it became very important in terms of the experience, and now I think we're entering this era where consumer electronics is the hardware and the software and the cloud. Q is the small Android power computer, and it connects to all of the media that you have stored in the cloud. The fact that it was going to be in your home meant that it needed to be not only functional, but also beautiful. Google products are used by millions and millions of people every day on the web and mobile side. How that translates into physical products, it raises a lot of interesting uh, opportunities. This is how you get the software from the device to your phone. Now that you're moving into an era where devices are controlled from your phone or your tablet, we can allow people to use their devices to control their entertainment in a very simple way. People's stereo systems, they were very much revered, but when you're at people's houses, you can never touch them. The idea here is that people can be inquisitive, play with it, but also start using it interactively. And it's the sort of thing that you think, why can't everything do this? Isn't this the right way that music should be? This really is a third wave of consumer electronics, and it's all about the cloud. Nexus Q is just the beginning. We're really excited to unveil Nexus Q. Uh, it's a small Android-powered computer that's designed to live in your home. It plugs into the best speakers and TV in your house, and it's always connected to the cloud. Nexus Q tightly integrates with Google Play, so you can easily stream music and video. You use your Android phone or tablet to control it, but you're not actually streaming content from your device to it. Instead, Nexus Q pulls your content directly from Google Play. So, in other words, you use your phone or tablet to control the cloud. Now, before I show you how this works, Matt's going to tell you about all the design and engineering that went into creating Nexus Q. Thanks, Joe. 